Greetings, game heads of the United States of America, planet Earth, and the known universe. This is Eli the Game Guy. I am your host, Eli Williams, and welcome to week four of Dragon Quest XI. It is on like Tron, folks. Let's blow it up. Greetings, game heads, and welcome to another episode of Eli the Game Guy with me, your host, Eli Williams, here in Dragon Quest XI on PC, and we are picking up where we left off last week. I am to go up to this tower, We're trying to locate Ruby the innkeeper so uh we can find out what happened to this orb that eric okay we're watching this guard okay. that does not look like ruby he said ruby had red hair wow he's not very nice no Nice sack of coins. Where'd he put that sack of coins? He has no pockets. Okay, that does not look like Ruby either. Where's he going? Okay, dog chased him away. Oh, okay, that's got to be Ruby. She's got red hair. He said it's the only person with red hair for some reason. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, okay. uh, can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Yeah, I just uh, I saw an old lady and the guy told her to the get packing, and Great. then there was a let's sit over there and find out what she knows. Hot chick that walked up and. Then a dog chased him away. A guy gave him a sack of coins. It was a, it's been a full day. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this inn. Let's see Ruby. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Welcome to our humble. <gasps> Strike a light. If it ain't me. Last I heard, they'd locked you up and thrown away the key. Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about. Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. Uh, it's not that you big. You like to sail close to the wind. I mean, comparatively speaking. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. It's up by the castle? Didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. Okay. All right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. Yeah. Because it's red, and we don't want to mess it up because you're the only one. Only ginger in town. Traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the orb. And also he could move up in the world. Why are you the only one without an English accent? You'll see. But we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he? Yeah. I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I 
think it was him. Uh, yeah, actually, it is him. <laughs> I witnessed oh, that. Somebody. He is not a dog person, which is just too bad. Okay, so we need to... Well, there's a dog right there. A little girl with a dog. No, I'm actually wanting to have a dog, not a giraffe. Buzzberries and holy water. I believe I've got both of those. Yes, I do. Bullseye. All right. Come on, dog. Let's go scare this guard. to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble, rabble, and rabble. Riff -raff. In other words, you. Hmm. Ah! No, no, not a, a, a dog. Anything but that. Wow. Ah! like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Okay. Oh, auto saving. Okay. All right. So we need to go um I got to figure out how to get out of here. Need to get out into the open area where the fountain... Oh, there's the fountain. Okay. What's this? Oh, this is the girl with the cat stuck on the roof. Yeah, we need to do that. Um, that cat was, like, back there. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Um, where's that cat? Yeah, it's right up there. I wonder if there... Let's see if this... No, not you. Oh, is this Dirk Shop? Oh, it's actually, it is up by the castle. Okay, no, I'm not buying any of your crap. Not yet. I don't want to blow any gold yet. Uh, can we go in here? Oh, okay, there's an upstairs. Maybe this is the way to get to the cat. Oh, this has got to be the way to get to the cat. It is. Yay, cat. All right. Well, that's done. Now we just got the guy that wanted the book. There's a book somewhere. Okay, we got to go tell the girl we found her cat. Hooray. Any bookshelves in here? Any bookshelves in here? Oh, what's in here? Any treasure? Nope. Oh, here's some pots. Hey, medicinal herb. Pumpkins! Okay, um, I don't, oh, I guess there's a, what's this down here? All right. Can we bust that barrel? No. Oh, here's some more pots. Gold. Isn't it funny how people just have gold just stashed in pots around cities? <laughs> pots and barrels and bags. I just, I'll just put this right here. I don't need to keep it on me. Well. There are guards up there. There's the book guy. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, well, can we get... It uh, doesn't look like I could make that jump. I'm not over this way. Oh, look, there is a tightrope thing there. 
Okay. How do we get... Is there a way back here to get up to that? Oh, there's another tightrope thing. There's one that goes across... Okay. We need to get up on top of that building. How do we get up on top of that building? Can we... Oh, what's this guy? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that out. Just press B. Okay. Oh, we get... Oh, well, looks like we can get up there from here. Ah! Ladder! Okay. Ah, here we go. Well, that was easy enough. Okay. Oh, we got past the guards. How about that? Um, now we just gotta find Dirk's shop. Is it this? Is this a shop? Oh, this must be Dirk's shop. There's a cutscene. Well, that all just flowed right, right there just naturally. Just, uh, no running around and... Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wheat. Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. <gasps> yeah. That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> It's really you, large as life and oh, fighting fit. I'm so happy to see you. You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me. You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me took out cake sold too? the orb oh. so you could buy this place, didn't you? <laughs> I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Yeah, I ain't buying it. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief. You know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> when you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit. Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. Okay. 
Oh, wait a minute. I just, I just can't. I can't not look around here. <laughs> this guy might have some good stuff. Eric might be the rogue, but... Can't go in there. Okay, well, there probably isn't any. All right. We go in this room? No. All right. How about you? No, I'm not Eric. Okay. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm -hmm. That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. Or you one orb. Dirt? <laughs> a little adventure for old time's sake. Kill two birds with one orb. Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run. I'm a married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You two, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> That's all he does. <laughs> the south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King Sparrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kid stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. All right. And I, now the guards aren't there, I can just walk right down and... Oh, okay. Of course. Alright, let's go ahead and save. it up right there and we'll pick this up next week so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed that we got a little bit further next uh week we will head into the mangrove and uh, uh i think that's what that was called and uh we'll see if we can get the orb back so and then we'll eventually get the cobblestone so so uh thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it please remember to like comment and subscribe curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the digitally rebastard network You've been watching Eli the Game Guy with me, your host Eli Williams, here in Dragon Quest VIII on PC. You have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time, and until then, hope you get the high score. Take care. Greetings, game heads. The Digitally Rebastard Network and I would like to thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastered Network. You've been watching Eli the Game Guy with me, your host, Eli Williams. Be sure to tune in next time, and until then, I hope you get the high score. This has been a DRN production.